In this video, I'm going to show you how to host your Vue.js app for free in just a few minutes by deploying it to Netlify. If you're new here, my name's Danny. I'm an indie app developer and creator of Fudgip. If you want to learn about Vue.js, web development, app development, and all that good stuff, click subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything. Every subscription helps me to create more content for this channel. So I'm going to be deploying this simple to do app that I created using Beautify, where we can just add tasks, mark tasks as done and delete tasks and reorder tasks and filter tasks and stuff like that. And if you want to learn how to create a simple version of this app in 30 minutes, then I'll post the video link at the end of this video. But this deployment will work with any Vue.js 2 or Vue.js 3 app created using the Vue CLI. So basically any Vue.js app created using the Vue create command. And so what we're going to do is build the app for production, add it to a local Git repository, push the local repository to a remote Git repository on GitHub, and then use Netlify to deploy our app using our remote repository. And by default, the latest version of the Vue CLI actually creates a Git repository in your project. So if you see this .git folder, and you might need to show your hidden files to see this, then as long as you've not been actively using this Git repository, let's just delete that so that we're all starting from scratch and we don't have any issues. Let's deploy our finished app to Netlify. And before we do that, we need to set up a Git repository for the project. And before we do that, let's build the app for production. Because for our Netlify deployment, we're gonna to need to know two things. We're gonna to need to know what the build command is and which folder from our project should actually be deployed. And if we go to package.json, we can see our build script here. So we just need to run npm run build. And it also tells us this in the readme as well. So let's run this command. I'll just kill the dev process and run npm run build. Okay, it's finished building our app and we can see it's created this dist folder. And inside there, we can see our minified and production ready files. So if we take a look at some of the files, we can see everything is minified. And so we could just take these files and upload them to a server using FTP or something like that. And the app would work in the browser. But we're going to be deploying this to Netlify. And what Netlify is going to do once it has all of our files from our Git repository that we're going to set up is run the build command that we just ran and then deploy the files that are in this folder. So when we set up Netlify, we're gonna need our build command, npm run build, and we're gonna need the name of this folder, dist. But before we can deploy to Netlify, we need to set up a Git repository. Let's set up a local Git repository for our project. So what is a Git repository? Well, it basically allows us to keep track of all the changes to our files, as well as being able to jump back to previous versions of files. It allows us to have different branches for our project, such as a dev branch for development and another branch for production. It allows us to share our code and collaborate on our code with other developers. And I don't wanna to get too deep into Git, but there are tons of free videos on YouTube that you can watch to learn more about Git. And if you don't have Git installed, and you can check that by just running Git, in your terminal. And if you don't see all of this stuff, then you need to install it. And you just need to go to git-scm.com slash download. And you just wanna download and install Git for your platform. And once that's installed, we can now use it in our terminal. And so to initialize a local Git repository for our project, we need to make sure we're in the root folder of our project and we can just run git init. And we can see it says initialized empty Git repository. And if we look at our files now, actually we won't see it here, but if we open up the folder, we can see it's created this Git folder. And now we need to add all of the files of our project to staging. And staging is just somewhere to put all of our files or our file changes temporarily before we actually commit them to the local repository itself. And so to add all of our files to staging, we can just run git add and then a dot. 
and we can now run git status to see all of the files that have been added to staging and we can see all of the files of our project have been added to staging and we now need to commit these files or these changes to the local repository and to do that we just run git commit dash m and then we just enter a message in quotes so i'm just going to put initial commit and run that so now all of the files of our project have been added to the local git repository and we now need to push our local repository to a remote git repository Before we can deploy our project to Netlify, we need to set up a remote Git repository, basically a Git repository that's on the internet. And for this, we can use GitHub, Bitbucket or GitLab, but I'm gonna be using GitHub here. So you just wanna to go to github.com. And if you don't have an account, just create one. It's free and it's really quick. And once you've signed up and you're signed in, you can just click on this new button here to create a new repository. And we need to give this a name. So I'm just gonna call it Vutify to do and you can enter a description if you like but i'm just going to leave that blank and then i'm just going to click on create repository and it's now created the repository and it's taken us to the github page for this repository and there's nothing in it right now but we're going to push our local git repository to this remote git repository and if we scroll down it tells us how to push an existing repository from the command line so we need to run each of these commands so I'll just run these one at a time. So we'll run this first command. And this line is basically going to tell our local repository where its corresponding remote repository is. So we'll run this. And we'll run the second command. And this is basically just going to create a branch for our repository called main. So we'll run that. And this final line is just going to push our local main branch to the remote main branch. So let's run that. And that's now finished. So if we refresh this GitHub page, we can now see all of our project files here and our readme will appear here as well. And by the way, when you fire these Git commands, it might ask you for your credentials. But now that we have all of our project code in a remote repository, we can now use this remote repository to deploy our app to Netlify. If you found this video useful so far, smash the like button and leave some love down in the comments. Let's deploy our app to Netlify. So you wanna to go to netlify.com. And if you're not already signed up, just click on sign up. And um, personally, I always prefer to sign up with an email and password rather than using an associated account, just in case anything ever happens to that associated account, which might then lock me out of other accounts. But feel free to sign up with GitHub if you prefer. But I'm just gonna log in. And then we just wanna click on new site from Git and um, we want to choose GitHub and um, we get this GitHub pop-up and we need to install Netlify so that Netlify can use our GitHub account. And if you like, you can allow Netlify to use all repositories on your GitHub account. But I'm just going to choose only select repositories and I'm going to select my Beautify to do repository. Scroll down and click on install. And it looks like something's gone wrong here. So I'll just try this process again. I'll click on new site from Git, click on GitHub. And I can now see Vutify to do listed here. So I'm gonna click on that. Um, we're always gonna deploy the main branch. And here's where we need to enter the build command and the publish directory. So remember our build command is npm run build. So we just put that in here, npm run build. And the published directory is this dist folder that it's created. So we can just put dist in here. And now we can just click on deploy site. And it says it's deploying our site. And if we click on deploying your site, we can see a log here. And we can see it's run our npm run build command. And it's now building for production. And this might take a little while. And it now says Netlify build complete and site is live. So if we click on preview, we can now see our app running in the browser on the internet. And this subdomain that it's used, this randomly generated subdomain, isn't really much fun. So let's see if we can change that. So I'm gonna click on deploy settings. 
Uh, maybe it's in domain management. I'll click on options here, edit site name. So let's change this to beautify to do. I'll click on save. And now if we click on this link here, our site is now at beautify to do.netlify.app. And now if we want to make changes to our app, all we need to do is commit those changes to our local repository and push the changes to our remote repository on GitHub. And Netlify will automatically detect that the repository has changed and it will rerun the build command and redeploy the dist folder. So I'll just demonstrate that now. Let's say we want to change the name of our app. I'll just jump to our .n file and I'll change the app title to Penguin Balls and save that. Then we just need to add our changes to staging with git add dot. And then we need to commit the changes to the local repository with git commit dash m and then a message, say updated title. And then we just need to push the changes to the remote repository with git push dash u origin, then the name of our branch main. And that's now done. And Netlify should detect this and rerun the build command and redeploy. So all we need to do is wait for a couple of minutes. And I just had to wait a minute or two there and we can now see our app name has updated. And I'm just going to change the app title to what it was before. So beautify to do, save that, run git add dot, then git commit dash m, reset the title and then git push dash u origin main and after waiting a couple of minutes my app title is back to what it was again if you want to learn how to create a basic version of this beautify to do app then check out this video above or check out this other video and um, please hover my face over there and click subscribe every subscription helps me to create more content for this channel thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one